With regards to what we're doing today, um, I specialise in landscape surveys, so I learn about GPSs and LiDAR and lasers mm. and mapping things, mm. but above ground, I think mm. the trickiest things we have to deal with are trees. Mm. But we're looking at the possibilities of using these robotic dogs to sort of inform the mapping of, of mines in the future, yeah. and, and this is just the first step. But I wonder what your take on that is in terms of bringing in robots to help with um, quite a cultural heritage-y themed I'm, uh, discipline. I'm quite enthusiastic about it really because um, my own background is in mechatronics and uh, I was actually an electromechanical design engineer for most of my life. So there is a use to this, you know, I'm, I'm not opposed to using modern technology um, provided it can work along with us yep. and, and not instead of us. I think that's such a nice way of putting it and, and rather coincidentally the robotic dog has just arrived. So we better we go and see what it's about then, yeah, hadn't we? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, off we go. Demetrius, this is a, a beautiful thing that we've got in front of us. There's so much technology on, going on, and I'm assuming this is the, the, the LiDAR pod at the This front. is one of the leaders that we, we use for uh, getting a representation of the environment. Is that a Kinect from an Xbox? Yes. Okay, so exactly. what, what's that doing? So this is a, a different type of uh, sensor. It's like a camera. Uh, it gives a different perspective of the environment to the robot. So we're using photo 3D imagery, exactly. we've got 3D point clouds, exactly. you've got two absolutely stonking uh, lights on the front there yes. which are going to be really important. But what, what's that's this another there? leader. Oh, so sensor. that's another LiDAR sensor, another okay. Lighter. So, so you're trialling effectively three different mapping techniques while we're down there. Exactly. Um, you've just visited, we've just been down the bottom mm. of the mine, um, you've, you've for the first time, you've sort of mm. got an idea idea of the terrain and the, the sort of the confined space mm. that you're going to be working in. What's your initial? Uh, well, it's, a, it's a very difficult <laughs> space, even for humans. I think. Yes. I think like we struggled ourselves. Uh, it's very challenging. I yeah. think uh, I like it. One, two, three. It's not just where humans cannot go. It's where. It's dangerous to go. So this, this can adapt really nice in, in any environment without the need to open a road, you know, like they, or, or a path even. Like, like a wild animal, you can just go. Exactly. What's it's really like exciting about think. what's going on and here today is well, it's, it's, it's a tiny think. step forward. We don't know what the results are going to be. It's one single case study. But the technology that the UCL team have got exactly. on that robot and exactly. the functionality the of it to get it into spaces get, where humans may not fit or it may not be safe, no. this has the potential to change everything. Go, 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 go. No. Sit. Sit. <laughs> oh my word. They seem pretty confident and uh, this is sort of the start of, of the whole thing. Ready? It's all quite literally downhill from here. Yes. Put it down. been so successful we've lost them. Um, it's dealing with these rails from, um, from the light gauge rails that are used to extract um, the, the, the coal material. It's dealing with the sleepers that go underneath it. It's, it's avoiding the uneven surfaces and we've already seen a few profiles of the 3D data that it's capturing so it's immediately giving us meaningful data to collect. That was difficult but very successful. It didn't fail at all. Uh, I struggled in some cases where the mud was really deep. I mean, we struggled more than the robot, I think. <laughs> oh, it was good. It looked really, really, nice it looked really stable. It looks like it you did. Were hopefully it got was really stable, even data. in difficult cases. It, it, it was just amazing. What did you make of this then, Mike? What did you, your oh, first? I think it's definitely a start, and I think, you know, uh, when it's been made in as long as I have, it'll probably be doing the job. <laughs> Let's go. 